clean zone ordinance that you are considering and which purports to place reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions on those who would come to Tampa for the RNC exercising their First Amendment rights. It's important to recognize that any of all of these restrictions burden the fundamental exercise of fundamental rights. Uh, our message today is that the complex draft that will come before you today is not ready for prime time. We believe it places many unreasonable burdens on the right of people to speak, peaceably assemble, and protest. Some elements are just simply confusing. I'm going to highlight a few examples. Limiting the duration of parades and demonstrations to 60 minutes is unprecedented, unworkable, and constitutionally suspect. Demonstrations and parades will involve thousands of people. It's an unreasonable attempt to limit them to 60 minutes. The absence of provisions for assembly areas and the movement of protesters from one venue to another adds further complications. The requirement for 14-day applications in advance is unrealistic and constitutionally suspect. Individuals and groups will be operating many in unfamiliar territory, will not be as well organized as the city, and the city should be accommodating. The ordinance fails totally to address unled spontaneous demonstrations arising from the use of social media like you saw in Egypt during last year. Young people have constitutional rights, but the ordinance allows officials to deny permit applications on the basis of age, another constitutionally suspect provision. The prohibition of wearing masks in the clean zone makes no exception for people who cover their faces for medical or religious reasons, for example. As written, the ordinance can, could encourage profiling individuals wearing hoodies uh, and as occurred in the Trevon Martin case. The draft ordinance gives law enforcement people almost unlimited discretion to ban any item from the public viewing area. Your clean zone is too large. It will place many unnecessary restrictions on thousands of peoples in, people in Tampa's residential neighborhoods. We are also concerned that public officials are justifying proposed restrictions by emphasizing the possibility that lawless elements will come to Tampa to cause trouble. This is a possibility, but almost all the people who come to demonstrate will be peaceful. The police department has the necessary tools to deal with those who violate. Finally, one final consideration. The 60-minute time limit has been justified by the need to limit the duration of deployments for officers who will be wearing SWAT and heavy riot gear. Uh, this is psychologically troubling because the demonstrators won't view the people with heavy riot gear wearing SWAT uniforms as people who are there to protect and serve them. On the other hand, the police will view this, the protesters, as people who are potentially dangerous and view them as potential threats. We urge you not to go ahead and pass this ordinance. We would like you to delay it a Thank couple of weeks until everybody can assess the implications. Thank you. Thank you.